That's how it starts. You don't know where to start. <laughs> laughing yet? So I don't. Uh, you're not telling <laughs> jokes. You're not telling jokes. Around, they're just like. <laughs> I'm go sweating, dude. Oh to get better, and I want to. I don't like it's a yeah. micro. <laughs> That's fear. Insurance Where's this going? I accept the death. I accept the death. Force it. Bro, I did so bad. My stomach hurts. I hope this inspires you, and I hope you understand that I froze hard, and that was terrifying, and I'm doing it again. Have a good night, bro. What you are about to watch is brutal. My God, yesterday I had a rough night. Okay, it happens. I did my first ever open mic. We got it done. <laughs> for those that have watched my podcast, I've been talking about it for a few weeks. You know how much I love comedy. You know how funny I am. <laughs> okay, this is what it's about, though. You got to laugh at yourself. You got to live it up, man. This is what life's about. So I'm putting this out there. I hope you freaking enjoy, and I hope that you are inspired to go do something because nothing really matters, you know? Did I know that in this moment during when I got on stage? Out the window, dude. All the mindfulness, every friggin' meditation session, every time I ever got my mindset right in any way, out the window, bro. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> More comedians, guys. Appreciate everybody sticking around. Um, Definitely stick around have... for this guy. Definitely. Stick. Steven, you ready? Always. Oh, Always. Oh, Steven Stelly, right here. Shout out to Carmen, the host. Man. What is cool. going on? Good evening, good night, whatever. This it was my late. First it was late. Mike ever. First time standing on stage. I'm nervous again. Appreciate everybody staying out. My boys are I here. I look okay. Here. So much semen built up in me. <laughs> no idea why I said that. Literally thought it was funny that this is my first Shaking. ever open mic. Just starting with that. And when I'm famous, I look back on this like. Mm -hmm. I still think that's funny that the first thing I've ever said, and it, it, it's almost funnier that it bombed because it's like the first thing I've ever said in my whole career. And I do love this. I do want to get good at it. <laughs> but I, am I reevaluating my entire life? Yes. What to do? I've been wanting to do this for weeks. Had no idea what to go with. Can't even see people. Lights are bright, but um. I'm yeah, nervous. You step outside your comfort zone. It's something I love to do. I love making people laugh. No one's laughing yet, so I don't. Ah, you're that. not telling jokes. You're not telling jokes. <laughs> anyway, so what I see in my life, I, I work nine to five. So much anxiety. People just like working. Oh, God, this is uh, so crazy. Don't even live their life. They don't do anything they want. I want. <laughs> I wanted to talk about. Oh, anxiety is so common or something, but it just sounds like I'm talking about myself because I'm so goddamn nervous, but it's it doesn't sound right at all. Oh my God. Do me, I know this is scary, but you've got to push yourself a little bit. Everybody, people walking around, they're just like, I forgot what I was going to say, freezing up a little bit. But it was, Come on. Uh, I just started. Why am I freezing <laughs> already? <laughs> oh, Louis. Shout out, shout out to my boys that came out too. Around, uh, they see new people just like this. I didn't, I'm sweating. so worse shit, as you can tell. Probably should have them a little bit, but um, if you're walking around, you say, oh, I got to meet new people. Oh, my God, just alcohol, alcohol, and they just drown themselves. They just block out everything they do. They got to go sweating, to sleep. Dude. Oh, my God, I don't want to deal with my thoughts. I don't want to think about anything. They just ambient, ambient, ambient. They can't even think. I think it's crazy. People so can't even think with their thoughts. And like this, I hope this is inspiration for you because this is nerve-wracking, but I'm loving it anyway because I hope to get better, and I want to, I don't know why this is turning into a TED Talk. I broke the microphone. The plug came out. Alright. <laughs> it looks better than it felt. I felt like my brain completely seized and it was melting. I don't know if you've ever felt that in public speaking. I've, I've only had that when I was a kid. When I was like, in school, when I didn't know what I was talking about, <laughs> obviously. My brain was on fire. It felt like I was barely alive. Oh my god. Uh, my, I, if you want to feel like a human, go do something you're terrified of and, and fucking suck at it.
Can't go any worse. Guess I'm bombing. Guess it's a good day Don't to do, do so. It. Trying to forget me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. That's fear. Look at that fear. Nothing's working. I don't know what to do. My brain doesn't even listen to what I'm saying. Oh my god. 9 11. Okay, no, we got it. Or is it a terrible joke? Obviously, a terrible joke. Okay. Anyway, it's, people work just their way out of it. They just want to be CEOs. They just want to know what they do. They don't know who they are. They're trying to center themselves. They don't know anything. They're just like, I'm going to work, work, work. They don't know what to do. What am I saying? Um, I have insurance. I work for all, the, all these employees. Insurance Where's is coming. Where's it going? All these work 9 to 5, 60 hours a week. Dominatrix, dominatrix, dominatrix. Punchline. No setup, nothing. That was the punch. <laughs> Come on! So oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> um, Do this. Um, I'm just gonna kind of sit in it. Um, I accepted death. I accepted I death. Oh, I did meet this. I centered myself, and I I felt calm for a second. I breathed for a second because I accepted death, and that's very uh, mindful of me. But uh, it goes right back downhill. I <laughs> speaking of that, I'm going off the top, off the dome with the. That's how you gotta be. You gotta be with I met this guy recently. Oh my god. He's like all into CBD and spiritual, but he's got this New York accent and it didn't really go well. Basically, me. He's like, you gotta stay centered, bro. You gotta, you gotta go with your shockers. These fucking people, they don't understand. You gotta stay centered. You gotta believe in yourself. And I'm, I was like confused because what he was saying I'm was so true. But I was I'm so serious. Why? Well, I, I wasn't even laughing at myself. Like, you're supposed to have fun. You know, these are jokes. I should make myself laugh. You know, I, I knew all these things going in, but. Completely brain malfunction. Completely lost. When Completely if, lost. If yep. he was being true, or he was that was who he was, or he heard it somewhere, he just repeated it. Forcing it. Was, it. Was, it was really <laughs> I can't do this. This is bad. Well. <laughs> okay. Oh. And um, anything else? Yeah. Drake. Um, I'm a big fan I had of Drake. Man, but, like, yo, I had Drake lines to do about his emotional nonsense lyrics. I had skin jokes to do. I had black holes. I had Netflix. I had so many ideas and thoughts that I wrote out, that I practiced, that I was working on. But you, uh, you get on stage, and the lights are in your eyes, <laughs> and you got, ooh, baby. I'm probably gonna watch this. Probably support me with all her love. Roasting my grandmother now. Going on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually Come my best on. friend, and one thing I do to her. I do uh, like this one. Though. Hopefully, this lands. Um, yeah, no, no I chance. Fuck with her a little bit. Yeah, it's not what you think. I literally, if you want to fuck with any of your grandparents, try this. Next to their purse, drop. Should try this actually. Two nickels. Just drop two <laughs> nickels stacked up, and that'll send her for her, uh, in a frenzy. <laughs> Tell them more, more like, a little bit. Send these, it up. Are these my nickels, <laughs> Stephen? Is these your nickels over here? And she can't, she can't even go on with her day without even fucking understanding where these nickels came from. She's like, oh, Nana, I love this you. This supposed to be for the cereal. I was gonna get it. Well, Chris, Stephen, what's one person, this? One, one person and loves like, it. Stephen, can we get them in? Oh. She, she takes me. She, now she, that's part of my day, and that's my time. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. It. Jesus. Oh, my God. Get out of there. Get out of there. Motivation. How do you do? Oh, God. Get the fuck out of there. Professional dunker too. Yeah. Oh, Shout out to my dunks. boys for coming. This. Oh, me yeah. too, man. Donut right in the Thanks for watching. Oh my God. Thanks for everybody that came out. Thanks for the people on Instagram that already reached out and said they're going to go try something because that makes it worth it. Oh my God. I'm shaking again. I'm like reliving it. So funny. My God. <laughs> I can't believe that's how it went. Anyway, didn't look as bad as it felt. It felt way worse, which is something comforting, I guess. I'm going to practice. Everything I'm ever thinking now is complete. I had psychosis before this in the positive. Now I'm second guessing everything I've ever thought in my whole mind, mind meld. Look at me. It's just, it shook me again. I got secondhand shookness and that was rough, but I hope this helps you. If you're ever doing stand up for those people, if you're a stand up yourself and you watch this, for your first time because i watch youtubers open micers for their first time and that helped me get on stage go do it i'm having fun with it i survived <laughs> barely <laughs> by a thread i survived by a thread but i'm gonna look i look forward to doing it again and practicing and having fun with it because i did not have fun i had fun looking at it now but i did not have fun on stage while i was up there and that was the problem i couldn't get myself i couldn't get comfortable i just thought way too much about what am i saying instead of just having fun with this so i hope open micers comment on this or people that are looking forward to them, and they're going to try to go do it because that will at least give me some solace that this was for something instead of just completely alter my life and then I never do it again.
Enjoy your day. Let's go. Nothing matters. Go do it. Go get scared. Go freak your mind out. And then come back. If I was detached before, how about now, dude? I went up there and I survived. And now I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? Silence? Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Bro, I just leveled up. That's what it's about. Toodaloo. And I be thinking existential, I got limitless potential Now I'm looking in that mirror like that motherfucker bluffing